In this lecture, we are going to cover raft, an algorithm for consensus or consistent replicated logs. This is a popular algorithm that is now uh, being used in many systems. And the outline of this lecture is as follows. We start first with sequence Paxos and cover the fail recovery model algorithm. And you will see that it will be very minor changes that we have to do from the current algorithm to make the fail recovery model. And then we will also discuss session-based FIFO links. These are links that are perfect only during a session, but once a session is broken, any arbitrary suffix of messages could be dropped. Then we will cover the raft algorithm. A raft is a functional restructuring of the reader-based sequence Paxos with actually a number of innovations that we are going to discuss. And we are going to understand the raft algorithm once you understand the sequence Paxos, of course. Raft in general does not assume FIFO links and it tolerates arbitrary massive losses. So let's go now to sequence Paxos failure model. We start first by just a summary of the leader-based Paxos algorithm. So once a leader L is elected here, it send prepare messages to collect a majority of promises and forms its accepted sequence BA. This accepted sequence is the norm. So after this is finished, the accepted sequence at the leader has the longest chosen sequence as a prefix. Then it sends the accept sync message to synchronize the accepted sequence or the log at all the followers. And it does for a majority of followers in this case. The reason it is for majority of followers here because it only waits for a promises from a majority of followers. So the leader and those followers move to the accept phase mean the leader is now here and the followers are here and the accepted sequence is extended incrementally as well as the decided sequence which is a prefix of the accepted sequence this is the basic algorithm one thing more we have to address is when a follower comes late after the leader has moved to the accept phase a late replica sends in this case a promise while the reader is in the accept phase, and the accept sync synchronizes the state of that replica with that of the leader. And now, from now on, the replica has the same state as the leader, and the accepted sequence at the replica is extended incrementally, as well as the decided sequence, which is a prefix of the replica. We now look to the fair recovery model of sequence packages. In the fair recovery model, a process is correct as long as it fails by crashing and recovers finite number of times. This is the definition of a correct process in the fair recovery model. And of course, by crashing and restarting a process, P loses an arbitrary suffix of most recent messages in each FIFO link. So it has to restart a new FIFO link. And once a process restarts, so it joins the leader election algorithm in a recover state. So here is the recover state. This is an example where a process recovers and then becomes a leader. And here's an example where a process recovers and becomes a follower. And we are going to discuss the two cases. As we will see in the following slides, the only thing we need to do will be for a follower to send a prepare request message to ask the leader to send a prepare. We will discuss this a little bit later. So in the fair recovery model, we have to store some of the variables in a persistent store. This is what we call the persistent variables. So what are these variables? The algorithm needs to store the following variables in the persistent store for each process. For each process, it has to store and promise, the promise not to accept in lower rounds. This is normally will be also the number of 
associated with the leader when this process crashed. Then it has to store the round number in which the last command was accepted, the accepted sequence, and the index or the length of the decided sequence. Of course, the process has to also store the, the process configuration, which is the identifiers of all processes in the system. This is taken for granted. Once a process recover, it has to restart its own election component. In the election component, it should initialize or reset its ballot max. This is the maximum ballot it knows. It should set it to n props because it will set the ballot to the round number of what it thought was the leader. So this is very important. Any subsequent election should either have this ballot number or higher ballot number. So otherwise, all the other variables are reset as in the initialization. The leader election guarantees that a leader with a higher ballot number is elected if the leader crashed or rec and recovered. So here is the cases of different crash recovery now. A recovered process P starts as a follower recover state here. It restores its persistent variables, which we just discussed, and then waits for a leader event. This leader, which tells you who is the leader and what is the round number of that leader. If the leader is that process, that it means that the recover process becomes a leader, then it just moves to the leader prepare state and runs normal prepare phase. So no changes in the algorithm whatsoever. The other case is this case, the case of a follower. So P is not L. It means that this process is now not the leader, so it is a follower. So the thing that it does, it just requests a prepare message from the leader. So it sends this specific message to request a prepare message from the leader. And things now after that happens as normal. When it receives a prepare message, it moves to the follower prepare and then send promises and things run as usual. So we just wait for this prepare message. So a question is, why do we need a prepare request? Why not allowing a process that is a follower just send a promise immediately? The main reason is the following. If the leader L is still in the prepare phase, the recover process needs to know the length of the decided sequence at L. The recover process, it means this process will need to know the length of the decided sequence at the leader because now the leader has to form the longest chosen sequence at the leader. Moreover, if the leader is still at the prepare phase, then he needs still to get promises from a majority before he can proceed, otherwise he's stuck. So he needs to know that he has to send a prepare message to a follower so the follower can send uh, a promise. In fact, that is all. The only thing we have then is just to request a prepare message. The rest of the algorithm is exactly the same. We didn't change anything. So now let us move to what is called session-based FIFO links. So what's a session-based FIFO link? Normally we have FIFO perfect point-to-point -point links and all messages are delivered in the same order from the source destination. But this is is guaranteed until what we call a session is broken. So dropping a session between two processes, P1 and P2, means that links between the two processes are broken and an arbitrary suffix of messages are lost. We don't know how, how many, but it is the most recent messages are probably lost. How many of these? We don't know. Restarting a connection means creating a completely new empty channel that is established between these two processes. So it means if a process drops a link and restarts a new FIFO link, this is a completely new, it's an empty channel at this point. Session failure is normally due to process crashes or network partitions. And it is implemented on the top of a TCP protocol, normally. 
this is actually a rare event. So in our algorithm, if a session is dropped, we have two cases. The session is dropped with respect to a specific process. If that process is a follower and it drops the session, then it tries to connect in the recovery state. If the process is a leader and it drops a session, it ignores it, nothing special, until a new connection is requested by the follower. So the leader continues as normal. That's it, nothing very specific has to be done about session-based FIFO links. The algorithm covers nearly everything. That's all. This covers our sequence access algorithm.